Well, I am so happy to be making videos for you guys again, and I'm sorry it's taken so long. Um, just been so busy, and you can still hear that I'm really sick. So I've been getting sick a lot as well, and it hasn't been fun. A um, few things have changed. I've dyed my hair. Yes, yes, yes. It's red. <gasps> so exciting. My awesome friend Kirsty did it. So shout out to you. You are amazing, and I love you so much. And thank you so much for believing me and believing in like everything that I want to do in terms of YouTube and stuff like you're amazing and you constantly encourage me to do that sort of stuff and I don't think I could be still doing YouTube if it wasn't for you because I was almost ready about to give up on it and then you just sort of like put it along and you know help me through and I can't wait till you start your own YouTube channel it's gonna be amazing um, so today anyways I wanted to show you how I got this look mwah, mwah. Um, for under fifty dollars, it's super easy, and I will also review the products that I did, and hopefully you guys will love them as much as I did. And yes, my hair is being very weird today. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So the first product that I used for this makeup look was my Rimmel London Lasting Finish, twenty five hours. SPF 20 in ivory. Um, as I said, everything I bought was under um, under fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars. And I wanted to show you these so that you can go and purchase them. Um, Chemist Warehouse at the moment is having an amazing sale, and this is where I got everything from. No, they're not paying me to tell you that. I just wanted to share that information with you. Um, so yeah. Anyways, this is the um, lasting finish foundation by Rimmel. Really, really like it. The coverage is really nice, um, as you can probably see. Um, I did use a mattifying powder over the top because I did feel like it needed that extra niceness, if you get what I mean. So that was a really nice one to be using. Definitely recommend it. Um, I will let you guys know how it does in terms of staying together, like staying nice for the whole day. Um, but yeah, it's gone really nicely on my skin. Super happy with it, loved it. So definitely recommend that one. The next product I used was the Maybelline New York New Matte Makeup Mattifying Powder for Flawless Looking Coverage Matte Finish. This stuff was really, really nice. I really liked it. Um, it feels amazing on your skin. It feels light. I feel like it's sort of quite... Um, it's mattifying, duh, um, but it's also quite nice on your skin, like I feel like it sort of makes it look really cute and better and I don't know how to explain it, it's just good, just go buy it. So yes, definitely get that one. Um, the next one I used was my lips and that was the Color Drama. Brittany Lee Saunders does an incredible swatch, I think, yes she does of all of these, um, I, if I can, if I remember, I'll link it below. If I don't remember, just tweet me or Instagram me or whatever and let me know and I will put that up. Um, but yeah, this one is an amazing colour. It's not like the colour on the end um, and I kind of bought it thinking it was and it's not really, but it's super moisturising and you can see there, I'm trying to do a bigger swatch. That's it there. Um, it's really pretty, it's a lot brighter than I was expecting, but I really like it. Um, it's a very fun colour. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, just dying. Um, it's a very fun colour, really funky. It actually goes really nicely with my top. It's just a very cute, bright lid. It's very summery, very spring, <coughs> but it's going into winter. I like to mix things up. Let's just go with it. The next one, which is probably my favourite, um, was actually the bronzing powder and it was five dollars like five I'm sorry but where can you actually get something that's five dollars that's makeup well I found it and it was amazing anything by W7 is actually $4.99 and I really 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 loved it um, yeah sorry I keep looking over here it's in the mirror sorry I'm not used to it um, but anyway it's 
incredible. Um, it's got a sort of a mixed tone of colours, browny, pinky, corally, um, but I'm using it on my cheekbones and it's just a really beautiful, quite a nice flush. Um, and yeah, I really like it. I wasn't expecting to like it. Um, it does have a bit of a glitter tone into it, but it's not that bad. So that one's called Honey Queen and it's by W7 and I loved it. Definitely recommend that one. The next one is also a W7 product and it is a mascara and it's really, let's just say I like it but I'm a bit freaked out by it because this wand is like super bendy, like insane bendy. Like I can't even put it back in because it bends so much and I don't know how to feel about that but maybe that's normal, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, I really liked it. I can't even put it back on. But yeah, it's pretty packaging and $5, it did the trick. My lashes look really pretty. Um, so I loved that one. And then the last product was a um, an eyeshadow quad and it was also by W7. And it looks like this. And it's just got a white, a dark, bluey, purpley and then a purple and a light sort of rose pink. Um, I really, really liked it. It's nice, like you can see it on my eyes, it's not too overwhelming, but it's still, you can see the color. Um, the only thing I would say is it actually doesn't come out very pigmented. You have to put quite a few layers on for it to actually work. But other than that, I really liked it. Um, so yeah, that's all the products I used for this makeup look and literally cost me 40, $48.36 so I was pretty impressed with that it is possible guys to buy affordable makeup products don't just always judge the cheap products on the shelf because you're worried about them like <coughs> look them up if you're really really that unsure but otherwise I don't see why you wouldn't just spend the money and just buy it and see how you go with it and if it's not good then you don't feel bad about chucking it out that's probably the worst thing that I struggle with when it comes to cleaning up my makeup is that I come to chucking out point and I'm like, I don't want to get rid of it. It cost me $70. You know, like each on the back of each product that you get, there's like a little um, picture. I'll try and insert it on my Instagram or something, but it's a little picture of a little pot and the lid's taken off it and it has a little number underneath and that's on the back of all your makeup products guys and that actually tells you how many months you should keep your products and I was only just going through mine like yesterday and I saw how many products I had and it was insane how many that I had kept for such an amount of time that's not actually healthy for my products so you're actually putting more damaging things on your face than you would buy cheap products so seriously don't always underestimate those good cheap products go out and buy some feel good about the makeup you buy love it wear it I love makeup always do um, let me know how you guys go with all of your purchases and um, comment down below uh, thumbs up this video if you like it and please subscribe thank you to everyone who has been subscribing I love you all you're all my family and I really appreciate every single one of you I hope you have an amazing week and I'll talk to you guys soon bye